This photograph of two toilets was made in February of 1964 with a new view camera I had just got at that time. As you can see, it is an imitation of a painted Renaissance crucifixion. The outline of the cross is quite clear. At its foot, the closed bowl on the right represents the Blessed Virgin. On the left is St. Mary Magdalene, a bowl with its lid raised. The roll of toilet paper stands for the skull of Adam, whose sin is conventionally washed away by the blood the crucified Savior sheds. The stairs leading up to the two booths symbolize Calvary. I'm not completely certain of the iconographic significance of the light bulbs, but the halos that sur surround them are more than suggestive. Late in the fall of 1964, a painter friend asked me to make a photographic document of spaghetti, an image that he wanted to incorporate into a work of his own. I set up my camera above an empty darkroom tray, opened a num number two can of Franco-American spaghetti, and poured it out. Then I stirred it around until I saw a suitably random arrangement of pasta strands, and finished the photograph in short order. Then, instead of disposing of the spaghetti, I left it there and made one photograph every day. This was the 18th such photograph. The spaghetti has dried without rotting. The sauce is a kind of pink varnish on the yellow strings. The entirety is covered in attractive, mature colonies of mold in three colors, black, green, and white. I continued the series until no further change appeared to be taking place, about two months altogether. The spaghetti was never entirely consumed, but the mold eventually disappeared.
this photograph was made in Michael Snow's studio sometime in 1965. It was made into a poster announcing a show of his walking woman works at the Poindexter Gallery in that year. As many as possible of the pieces are seen by reflection or transmission in a transparent sheet of acrylic plastic, which is itself part of a piece. The result is probably confusing, but no, no more so than the show apparently was, since it seems to have been studiously ignored. If you look closely, you can see Michael Snow himself on the left by transmission and my camera on the right by reflection. I recall that we worked half a day for two or three exposures. I believe that Snow was pleased with the photograph itself, as I was. But he disliked the poster intensely. He said I had chosen a typeface that looked like an invitation to a church social. I regret to say that he was right, but it was too late. There was nothing to do about it. The whole business still troubles me. I wish I could apologize to him. This posed photograph of Larry Poons reclining on his bed was made early in 1966 for Vogue magazine. I was ecstatically happy that afternoon for entirely personal reasons. I set up my camera quickly, made a single exposure and left. Later on, I was sent a check for the photograph that I thought in inadequate by half. I returned it to the magazine with a letter of explanation. They sent me another check for the amount I asked for, $75. Months later, the photograph was published. I was working in a color film laboratory at the time. My boss saw the photograph, and I nearly lost my job. I decided to stop doing this sort of thing 